Hey guys, welcome to the video. And here today I'm going to show you how we are not only going to just update our Neo Geo BIOS, but I'm also going to show you how we're going to stick a few of the most current up-to-date BIOS or unit BIOS into our one BIOS file. That way it takes the guesswork out of trying to figure out which updated BIOS or unit BIOS are compatible with, with which version of FB Alpha you're going to use to play your Neo Geo games. Because the core, once we merge all of these together, will pick the right one, the one that's most up to date and compatible with it, and it will automatically launch it while ignoring the rest. You'll see what I mean as we go along here. I did this video previously, but didn't like how it turned out, so I I finished it, but I deleted it. So if somewhere along the line in this video, I make references to the past video, just ignore those references because I kind of chop things up a bit. Anyway, uh, if you don't know what we're doing here, don't forget or I suggest that you watch part one of this series. The link will be in the description and the first five or six minutes kind of cover it. But in a nutshell, I want to make a, a retro arch tutorial playlist on this channel that covers uh, you know, just a lot of stuff regarding RetroArch since it's pretty much the same architecture and it works very similarly across so many different systems and platforms. I kind of want to make this like a little go-to hub for many of my viewers and subscribers to come and get their RetroArch fix. Whether you're a casual gamer, hardcore gamer, whether you have beginner skill levels with all this type of stuff, or you're more advanced, there should be something for everybody here. So with that, let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Okay, here at the BIOS homepage, you're gonna go to download and you're going to start by downloading everything from version 3.0 up to whatever is current at the time. So in this case, we're gonna start with 3.0, then you're gonna download 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3. Now 3.0 is compatible with FB Alpha 2012. FB Alpha 2012 is what most people use to play Neo Geo games through RetroArch. Unfortunately, it's the highest version of BIOS that FB Alpha 2012 can use that's compatible with it. So while people have said, I've seen it many times, that RetroArch can only use version 3.0 BIOS and nothing higher, it's not up to RetroArch, it's up to the core. The emulator decides. So if you're using a more current and up-to-date version of FB Alpha, which I'm going to show you here in a bit on your system, on your platform, then you should be able to use a higher version of BIOS. By doing this, you get, of course, more features, more cheats, and more benefits by using a higher version of these BIOS. So we're going to merge them all together into one file, and then the emulator on its own should automatically detect which one is compatible with it and use the highest one and go ahead and launch it without you having to do anything. You'll see what I mean here in a bit. Okay, so we're back here at RetroArch and I'm just gonna show you something here real quick. Um, I have FB Alpha 2012 Neo Geo installed, the regular FB Alpha 2012 and then Arcade FB Alpha or FB Alpha Arcade. Um, FB Alpha, the plain Jane one, the one that doesn't have any date or anything after it, that usually tends to be the most up-to-date uh, FB Alpha core or emulator available on your platform of RetroArch, whichever one it is you're using. The issue with this is that this is dependent a lot on your hardware. So the success that you have playing Neo Geo games on an updated version of an FB Alpha core really depends on your setup. On a PC, like the setup I have here, um, I have found that most of my games, although I haven't tried all of them, the vast majority of games that I try playing through the regular arcade FB Alpha actually work. Of course, this is not going to be the case probably on a Raspberry Pi or the you know little Nintendo Mini. That's why a lot of people use FB Alpha 2012, uh, one of the 2012 versions, because it's old faithful, it's reliable, it's you know pretty accurate. And yeah, it plays a lot of the games across all platforms uh, without you know, really much issues at all. So, um, but it's good to try to use an updated uh, FB Alpha core because then you can use the updated BIOS that have more features, more cheats and things like that. So it's definitely worth giving it a try 
on your system. Anyway, uh, right now you want to go ahead and test your games to ensure, and I would recommend doing it with FB Alpha 2012 because it's capable of playing older BIOS. You want to ensure that your games launch and that you have a working set of BIOS because if you don't, we won't be able to change them um, and we need those a set of BIOS that are working first in order to be able to do what we are going to do. So here I have a playlist. If you don't have a playlist, that's fine. You can launch the games, you know, the longer way, um, which I'm going to do here in a second. But um, these games are all set up with FB Alpha 2012 to run them. And as you can see, it launches just fine. Let me hit the insert coins. So no problem. So once you've done this, and I suggest again with FB Alpha 2012, you can go into any game, bring up the RetroArch pause menu here, and your options that you have available will of course vary depending on your system. You're gonna go into the options tab because everybody has that one. And then you're gonna go down to the Neo Geo mode and change it to Unibios. And then we're gonna go down to the BIOS tab and change that. If you don't have this BIOS tab, don't worry about it. But once you start moving it, you'll see here that it'll change to Unibios version. And then what you wanna do is set it at the highest version. So here it shows all the different versions of BIOS, 2.0, 2.1, 2.3, and then it goes to 3.0, and then it jumps to something else. So on FB Alpha 2012, on this core, on this emulator, um, BIOS version 3.0 is the highest that we can use. It tells you right there. So we can just leave it there. Even if the BIOS you are using right now are less than that, it doesn't matter. The core, it's going to use the BIOS that are um, compatible with it, even if it's not 3.0. So for right now, we'll just leave it there. Um, again, even if you have an older set of BIOS. Once you've made those changes, you must close the game, hit close content, and then we're going to relaunch the game. And there you go. Okay, so the Unibios here is version 2.3. So it's definitely an older set. So that's fine. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave everything like that. We're gonna close the game. Once you've made these changes, by the way, you don't have to do it for each game because the changes we just made affect the core itself, the emulator. Okay, so let's go back here to the beginning. All right, and now we're going to launch the game. And for those of you that don't have the playlist, we're going to go and launch the game the long way. And this time we're going to use the updated FB Alpha Core. Um, so let's go to where my ROMs are. And FB Alpha Arcade is the folder that has the Neo Geo ROMs. And 3 count B zip is 3 count bout. I'm going to go ahead and load it. And I'm going to pick. Arcade FB Alpha or FB Alpha Arcade. Okay, and you can see the game work. Now, I already launched it with FB Alpha uh, 2012. And so this is a different core. And as you can see, the BIOS did not launch. That's because this is a different emulator. So we have to set um, the same settings as we did before in this one. So let's go ahead and bring up that menu again. We're going to go into options. Now here we are going to change it to Unibios, but it actually says something different. It says force Neo Geo mode. So we're going to switch it to BIOS. And if you have this little BIOS options here, we're going to change that too. Okay, as you can see, the Unibios are changing. But look, instead of stopping at 3.0, here they actually go higher. 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, and then it goes to something else. So I know that in this version of FB Alpha, we can use the latest BIOS, which happens to be 3.3. And here, as you can see, it's telling you the highest it can go is 3.3, so that's good. So we're gonna leave that, let's back out, make sure you close the content so it can register, okay? Now here, since we loaded it from there, instead of doing that all over again, we can go here to the, the little history of the games you've played recently, and there's the three count bout with the FB Alpha core, so let's go ahead and launch it. And there we go. So the it's the same file, you know, same game, and it's launching the Unibios version 2.3, okay? All right, so we'll just go ahead and quit this. Go to close content. 
All right, we're going to back out. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and we are going to update our BIOS. All right, so here are the four files that we downloaded from the Unibios site, starting with 3.0, 3.1, 0.2, and then 3.3. Um, here is the folder that has my Neo Geo ROMs, and there's the Neo Geo.zip file, which are your BIOS. We're going to go ahead and just copy this for right now. Let's minimize this. I made a folder here called Neo Geo BIOS and I'll paste them here. Really, you could put these anywhere you want. I just do it this way so it's organized. Now, I know those work. I'm not gonna mess with those, and that is version 2.3. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a copy of those and paste it right here. And then here's the copy, and that's what we're gonna be messing around with. So we can leave the originals there intact. Now, what I do here is I open it with WinRare, and I do that because sometimes I've noticed if you extract everything and then you re- zip it, uh, your program or you might make a mistake or something where if it's not compiled properly, um, the zip won't be able to be read. So by opening it, we can make changes and stuff and then we can just close it right back up and how it was compiled or the method used or whatever, that will remain intact. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, let's go ahead and minimize this. Okay, we have this zip open. We're going to start with 3.0. Let's go ahead and open that zip. We're going to extract the unibios.rom file. That's the only one we need. Let's close this. And what we're going to do is we are going to change the name of this to this right here. So it's going to say unibios underscore three underscore zero. That's a zero, not an O, dot rom. Okay, and I'm actually just going to copy the name right from here. I'm going to go here. And we're going to paste it. Let's delete everything there. And let's paste the name. So uni, uh, uni dash bios underscore three underscore zero dot rom. Right? And then we are going to drag this in here into this open zip file. Okay, we're going to hit OK. Now notice that there's older versions already in here. So if you, you know, if you need to know what they need to be named, just name it the way these are here, but just make sure you use the updated one and you put the correct number. So 3.0 is there and that's correct. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for 3.1. Let's delete it. Let's open up 3.1, take out the Unibios. Okay, I'm going to hit rename. I'm gonna delete everything and I'm gonna paste the new name which says 3.0, but I'm just gonna change it to a one. There we go. And this is 3.1, we're gonna drag that in there. Now we are not going to do this for 3.3. For 3.3, we're gonna do something different, okay? So here's 3.2, let's delete this one we did. This one is 3.2. So let's delete everything. And I'm going to change this to a two. All right. And there we go. So now we have 3.0, 3.1, and 3.2. But for 3.3, what we're going to do, and we can delete this one. What we're going to do is we're going to replace this file here. So this file is called this. It's asia-s3-rom. So 3.3, that's what we're gonna call it. And the reason why we're doing this is because this is the most up-to-date one. So you will do this for all the older um, updates and the one that is most current, that's the one that will take the place of this Asia one up here. So let's extract this we're gonna extract the Unibios. And now we are going to rename it. Delete everything and rename it asia-s3.rom. Let's go here. We're gonna delete the one that's, oops. We're gonna delete the one that's here. And let's stick this one in there. Okay, that's it. And now I can go ahead and delete this one. And we can close this. Let's go back here and this is the copied one we've just altered so i'm going to change the name of this one because i know it's up to date with 3.3 .3. 
So I'm gonna call it Neo Geo V 3.3. You could call it whatever you want. And I'm just gonna add multi because I know it has all the updates, right? And let's leave it there. Now let's bring up the ROM folder again. And let's copy this multi one we just did into this ROM folder. And let's get rid of that one, the Neo Geo.zip. We have it here already anyway, a copy of it. And now let's rename this one that we just placed in here, Neo Geo.zip. So we can delete all of this. Okay. And there we go. So let's minimize that and minimize this. And let's go ahead and open up RetroArch. Okay, so back here at RetroArch, um, I can launch these games either through here, through the little history shortcut deal, uh, which I'll probably do with FB Alpha. But for right now, let's go to um, here, the playlist, and I have all these set up to work with uh, FB Alpha 2012 Neo Geo. Let's go ahead and launch three count bout. And you're going to see right now, it's going to use BIOS version 3.0, okay? So even though we have all of these there, since 2012, FB Alpha can only work uh, with the version 3.0 BIOS, that's the highest it can go, it picks that one and ignores the rest. All right, so now let's go ahead and stop this. We'll close it. Let's back out. Let's go to our little history column here. And now I'm going to launch the game, but I'm gonna pick the FB Alpha core instead. All right, there we go. It's gonna use FB Alpha. Let's go ahead and launch it, run it. And look, it uses version 3.3, right? Because the FB Alpha core, the highest version of BIOS it can use is 3.3. So it uses that one automatically. So the core will pick the correct highest updated BIOS that is compatible with and automatically launch them and ignore the rest. Now I'm going to show you real quick. I already have my playlist set up as I showed you before. Okay, I have it set up here, but you can change it. So the way you would change it, since I have it associated with FB Alpha 2012, what I'm going to do is you can come here you can come down to playlist. Here's the FB Alpha arcade games playlist, which is Neo Geo. And as you can see, I have it set for that um, for 2012. So I'm gonna change it to work with arcade FB Alpha, which is the current one. We're gonna back out. Let's go to the playlist here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the game and then we're gonna come here and we're gonna hit reset core association. Okay, now I'm gonna back out, I'm gonna go back in, and now I'm gonna launch the game and watch. See, now it's not using 3.0 anymore. Now my playlist uses BIOS 3.3 because I've changed it to work with the up-to-date FB Alpha core instead of the older 2012 core. And then you could go back if you want and change it back to 2012. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Be on the lookout for, you know, all the retro art stuff that's going to be coming out. Plus, I have other stuff that I'm going to be releasing here in a bit, some PS3 and other things uh, in between these videos. So, yeah, just be on the lookout. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.